the California voters have instituted an, an open primary process. What this means is basically anyone can run in the primary. The open primary is a bit confusing. What they mean by open is anyone can enter the primary, but only two people can go through to the general election. The top two people in the primary go to the general election. Would you say this is more democratic or less democratic? When a telephone poller calls you and asks if you've heard of some people, and they list a couple of names, would you say that's more democratic or less democratic? Did you know that for-profit polling establishes who participates in televised public debates? Did you know that for-profit groups conduct polling that gauges name recognition of candidates? Based on that polling, non-elected people are determining who participates in televised debates. These are televised debates for candidates for a public office. This is a public job interview. Basically, a corporate vendor by telephone poll measures and determines who is allowed to participate in the televised debate. This device is in collusion with the Republican and Democratic parties. Those two parties always exclude any candidates from the debates who aren't Democrat or Republican. When the various candidates are jockeying to see who will be in a debate, some of them collaborate with each other and others do not. Once a debate is announced, if a Republican candidate or a Democratic candidate agrees to participate in that debate, all the non-party candidates or third-party candidates are automatically excluded from that event. The minute a third-party or non-party candidate is included in a televised debate, the Republican and Democratic candidates refuse to participate. This is an ongoing problem in many states. It's basically a collusion between the two major parties. It's a collusion that's enabled by polling requirements. The polling requirements depend on polls that are conducted by entities for profit. They sell these polls. It's all linked to advertising. Two years before someone announces they're going to run for an office, they have to show their money to the advertisers. If they show the appropriate amount of money, their name gets included in the polls for two years. A third party candidate or an independent or a minor candidate, they can't wave those dollars in front of the advertisers fast enough or early enough. So they never get, they literally never get included in the polls. Their name is never asked to you on the telephone. If you're unfortunate enough to be called by these people, they'll ask you if you've recognized the major Republican. They'll ask you if you've recognized the major Democrat. They'll never mention the words Green Party, Independent American Party, Libertarian Party, or any of their candidates. They just leave that out conveniently. Why is it that you think they do this?